Today we are doing a full body dumbbell workout that is safe for postpartum. I will use 10 pound dumbbells, but you can use whatever weight feels good for you, or you could just grab water bottles. You will want to wait until you get clearance from your provider before starting postpartum exercise. If you have diastasis recti, you can do the workout without any weights at all, or use lighter weights if that feels safer for you. We will focus on our core throughout the entire workout. We can think of inhaling, expanding through our ribs 360 degrees around, and on the exhale, pulling in and tightening your core. Let's start with a warm up and then I will set the timer. You can start taking some deeper breaths. One more here. Let's start rolling our shoulders. Going the other way. We can warm up our neck. Good. Let's circle one arm. Keeping your ribs pulled in as you bring your arms up. Good, circling the other side. We can take some hip circles. If you wanna hold on a chair or a wall, you can. Exhale as you lift your knee around. Good, other side. Let's take our arms out and you can reach for your knee if you have diastasis recti or all the way down to your ankle if that feels good for you. Last one. Good, we'll move into some mini squats here. Hamstring curls. We can lift one knee up, exhale, you can hold it here, or if it's comfortable, you can grab your knee, Let's circle our ankle. Going both ways. Let's switch to the other side. Going the other way. Good, release down. You can grab dumbbells or water bottles now. Being careful with your back when you get up. We're gonna start legs wide apart, sumo squat as we bicep curl. Think of dragging your feet together using your adductor or inner thigh muscles. Re-engaging your core.
Good, release. We'll bend slightly forward, lots of length in the back. Row, tricep extension, keeping your core strong. Good, release out. We're gonna move into deadlift row. Lots of length in your back. Really shoot your hips back. You don't have to go down all the way. And we can row at the bottom. Move back into our sumo squats, but this time hammer curl, palms together, creating that same feeling of your feet dragging together. Squeeze your quads at the top. Last one. We're gonna do static lunges here. Just use your weights for extra weight. Core is strong, chest is open. Feet are separated as if they're on train tracks, not lining up behind each other. Amazing. We can bring our weights up to our shoulders, legs wide apart. We're gonna lunge to the side, shoulder press between, engaging your core. Shoot your hips back.
Amazing. Let's take a quick sip of water. Weights up again, we'll come into our lunge position here. We're gonna exhale, engage our core, and lift our knee from our lunge. Keep going. Moving with control. Last one. Lunging nice and deep. Exhale, engaging your core. We're gonna sumo squat here. Snatch the weight up with an exhale. Big breath, exhale. Last one. One more. Amazing, we can place our weights down. Let's take a couple of deep breaths here. Side stretch. Exhale, come up. Exhale, engage obliques to come up. Let's take another sip of water and we'll continue on the floor.
we can get into a modified side plank here. Lifting through our side body. Exhale, engage our core, elbow to knee, and then extend. Continue. Amazing, let's lower down, switch to the other side. Engage your core. Last one, amazing. Let's lower all the way down. We can log roll onto our back. If you have diastasis recti, we're gonna stay with toe taps here. Alternatively, you can lift both legs and extend. Core is very strong as we're extending. Exhale, extend. Let's exhale, release down. We're gonna work on some pelvic floor contractions here so we can imagine a blueberry at the opening of our vagina and we're gonna lift it in and hold. Research shows the best cue is actually squeezing the muscles of the anus. So whatever works for you, we're gonna lift in and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Release slowly with control, take a breath. Exhale, lift in and up, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Release slowly with control, breath. Exhale, lifting in and up, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Release, one last time. Exhale, hold, five, four, three, two, one, release. We're gonna work on our fast twitch muscles, which, help, which helps with when you jump or sneeze, having control. We're gonna go in and out as fast as we can, doing a full contraction. Amazing, release, let it go. Let's exhale, bring in both knees. We can separate out to lengthen the pelvic floor. We want a strong pelvic floor and releasing and relaxing is just as important as the contractions.
Good, let's bring our knees in. We can release one leg on the ground. If you have diastasis recti, stay here. Continue to lengthen through your lower back. Relax your pelvic floor. If it's safe for you, you can move into a reclining twist here. Exhale, engage your core to come back up again. We'll take that extended leg now. You can hold it as low as you need to and we'll straighten it. Doesn't matter how far you are up. You could also use a strap or a long sleeve shirt, but we'll bend and lengthen. On this next extension, hold. Beautiful. Let's bend our lower leg up. We can move into figure four stretch, keeping your top ankle flexed. Exhale, stretch here. Beautiful release. Let's extend that leg out, switch to the other side. So we're hugging this knee in. If you have diastasis recti, alternatively, reclining twist. Exhale, coming up. We can extend this leg again. Bend. On the next extension, hold. Release, let's cross it over for figure four. Exhale up. For a deeper stretch, you can gently press just above your knee here. Beautiful. Coming out of the pose, let's roll over on it to our side. We can push up. We're gonna move into a wide-legged forward fold. If you wanna sit on a pillow or a block, you can. Sitting tall, moving back and forth. Exhale, coming up, we can come up on it to our knees. Let's take a tricep stretch here. We can bring our one up arm up and over. Keeping our ribs pulled down and in again. Other side. Release. Let's clasp our elbows or our hands behind. Ribs pulled in, gentle chest opener here. If your hands are clasped, you can lift them up and away from your body. Coming out, let's round out the other way.
coming up sitting tall. You did incredible, that was not an easy workout. I'd like to know if you like the dumbbell workout or if you prefer no equipment options. If you're not sure if you're doing your pelvic floor contractions, I'm gonna to link to a video right there on exactly how to do a pelvic floor contraction. I will keep making new pregnancy and postpartum workouts and content every week. If you like videos like these and to support me, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.